So in this one, we're gonna create a very simple association between a user and a post. So that means me as the logged in user, I'm gonna be able to post something. Um, and then you as a logged in user, you would be able to post in something too, assuming that you're staff or an admin or the super user basically. So to do this, we are going to jump into our models and we're gonna make some changes here. So in our models, we don't have any way of associating this post to any particular user. The way you do that is something called foreign keys. Now foreign keys as a concept, there's a lot of ways you can go about doing it. So if you wanna learn more about it, definitely check out the digital marketplace. There will be some overlap on the things that you do, but for the most part, it will be really good practice to understand more about Django and then also how these foreign keys work on a deeper level. So the first thing I wanna do here in the models is from django.conf import settings. So I'm importing the settings module to get the user module or the auth user, the default auth user. So instead of our post, we'll do models.foreignkey and it's gonna be settings.auth user model. And I'm gonna say um, blank equals to true and null equals to true. Uh, actually, in fact, I'm gonna say default is equal to one. So the default value is gonna be that first user. So that admin, super admin user. Uh, the only reason I'm doing that is because then every post that I currently have, then that user is actually gonna show up correctly. Um, all right, so now that I've got this, I made changes to models. So what I have to do is go in here and do python manage.py, make migrations, and then python manage.py migrate. And then I'll run the server. There we go. Something to note here is the user itself um, is required. So that means that our form, or actually saving it from our model form is also required. So there's something that we'll have to do inside of our views to make updates to that. Um, so before we jump into that though, what I wanna do is see if the default actually went through. So let's go to the admin and the posts click on any user, or excuse me, any post, and we see that user is jmitch, great. So that's exactly what we want. Now, let's go into our template and go into post detail. And what I'm gonna do is right underneath the H1, I'm gonna put a author, and I'll just say instance, that user. And now if we look at any of our posts, click on them, we should see now our author. We could also say get full name, and that will get the user's full name, assuming they have one. So we'll just do if instance.get full name, then we'll show the author. If not, then we won't. All right, so let's actually add the full name. We'll go to admin, users, and Justin Mitchell, that's me save it, go back into our posts, oops, click on any of them, and, oh. and that should be instance.user.getFullName. There's the problem. There we go, and now it's showing the author. Cool, so now that we've got that, um, what we now need to do is actually update our forms. So. Inside of the views, this form valid stuff, it now comes very important. So we're just gonna do instance.user equals to request.user. So this is again gonna assume that they're logged in. So in the create, it's saying if they're not staff or super user, it's gonna raise 404. So another thing that if you didn't have this here, basically what you would wanna do is if not authenticated then you would wanna raise HTTP 404 as well. So these calls right here are assuming that the user is authenticated and it, and it does based off of that. So they're logged in and they can actually do some stuff and they have permission to do some stuff. Um, so that's, otherwise this will be a anonymous user and it won't actually work. So let's actually see the error that would happen. I'm gonna comment these out and let's go into post create and I'm gonna make a new form here, our new content, whatever. And I'm gonna hit create post. Still gives me the same author. That's the user is still logged in. 
So by default, it's actually setting the logged in user. So let's log out again and post create. And I'll say ABC, create post, and it gives me this error, right? It can't assign a anonymous user to, it must be a user instance. So this is the error that's happening because of this right here. So if I put in not authenticated and refresh and try to hit continue, it's gonna say page not found. And that's true with the staff stuff as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Something to note, um, not super important to what we're doing right here because of this, um, but it is something nice to know once you actually work through that. All right, so now we create it again. Let's go ahead and log in through the admin and post create. Uh, that one's already there, so post create another new Tesla post. Here we go. And add the image, create post, and there we go, successfully created. And if we go in here, we have posts and so on. Uh, so the author we might also wanna put inside of the list itself. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna put it in the thumbnail. I'm gonna put it right above the content itself and it's going to be object.user.get full name. Uh, and I'm going to use that if statement again here. And of course, author. Cool. So we saved it, and there it is. So if you have any questions on what we did with this foreign key stuff, let us know. Um, it is kind of advanced, but the thing that I would challenge you to try right now is to log in as another user, give them admin or staff prefer, uh, privileges, and then have them post some stuff. Um, you also might want to give them a full name, otherwise their author stuff won't necessarily show up. Um, so we're getting a lot closer to actually being finished with this po um, basic blog. So um, the part that we still have yet to do is actually having a comment section. So that's something we'll do um, using Facebook comments in the next one. See you then.